thank you for listening to our podcast so we are planet pe um previously we've done lots of things with gcse pe and now we are taking a stab at the BTEC Level 3 Sport course. So my name is Rich and it is my um, pleasure to have you here. So what we're going to look at to start off with is what we do basically. So within these podcasts we'll try and pose some questions and if in the comments below you can uh, put some of your answers in also we'll try and interact with you as much as we possibly can. So Unit 1 is about anatomy and physiology. So we're going to start with learning aim A which primarily looks at the skeletal system and we're going to start by looking at the structure of the skeletal system as well as some of the key terms that are going to come in across all of the anatomy things uh, that we need to know. So if we look at our skeleton, okay, previously we might have known them as just the bones or the fact we might have had to know some of them at GCC or some of you might not have even done it all at GCC. So if we take our skeleton, we can actually divide our skeleton into two specific skeletons, so almost like a skeleton within a skeleton. So if we start with the main core of the body, so that real central area, that's what we call the axial skeleton. And that includes the skull, the sternum, uh, the ribs, and the spine. So lots of those bones that primarily are there for protection um, and is the real center part of our bodies. So if we imagine that we're an action figure or a Lego man, we've got the head, and the body, okay, so at the moment, no limbs. Well, this is where that comes in with the second type of skeleton. Okay, so we've got the appendicular skeleton, so or, um, or what we would look at as being essentially the limbs. So the appendicular skeleton includes any bone that is attached to that axial skeleton. So essentially here, think about things like your pelvis, your legs and your arms, okay, it's the easiest way to think about it. So anything that attaches to the axial skeleton is known as the appendicular skeleton, okay? So appendicular, so A-P-P-E-N-D-I-C-U-L-A-R, so the appendicular skeleton, okay? So we've got the central core and then the limbs. Now, in addition to this, we need to know that we have some real key terms that start to come in that we won't have seen before or even heard. So when we describe the location of any of these bones, there are some terms that we've got to use. So there's eight real key terms that you need to know to be able to identify where something is in the body. And this will help you later in the course, particularly when you look at muscles, because it should mean that you start to really go, oh, that's where that is, just purely from the names that we'll look at. So if you look at the diagram that you have, hopefully in front of you, if you're watching on YouTube, um, we can be able to describe the location of any bone if it's the front or the back, if it's above or below, if it's towards the middle or away from the middle, using some scientific words or some Latin terminology. So let's start looking at front and back. So the term for something which is at the front is called the anterior. So you might have heard of footballers, for instance, who maybe rupture an anterior cruciate ligament. Well, that's the cruciate ligament, but it's just at the front, whereas the opposite to the anterior is posterior. Okay, so really easy way to think about it. If I've got my sternum, so my, my uh, breastplate, that is at the anterior part of my body because it's at the front. The vertebrae, we might look at as being at the back. So therefore, they are posterior. Okay, so in relation to each other, one's in front, one's behind, one's anterior, the other is posterior. We then have above and below. So we've got superior, which is above, and inferior, which is below. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's right at the top or right at the bottom. So for instance, if I was looking at something like the patella, which is the kneecap, that is superior to the metatarsals, because the metatarsals are below. So if we were looking at a group of bones that were all next to each other, then we could say that it is superior to it, or it is inferior. So superior being above, inferior being below. The next term is that we can look at if it's closer to the middle or further away from the middle. So we can say that it is medial, which is towards the middle, or lateral, which is away from the middle. So again, think about language, okay, things are um, lateral, if you run lateral in a game of rugby, normally you're running sideways, okay, so think about things being lateral if they're further away from the middle, if medial it is more towards the middle. So we can move laterally, we can move medially, as well as bones being more lateral or more medial if you then describe their position or the location of the bone. Next thing is about proximal and distal. 
Okay, so proximal is about being near to the origin and distal is about being away from the origin. Okay, so if we think about the fingers, okay, all the phalanges, they are distal because they are further away from the origin. If we're thinking about movement happening, let's say at the shoulder, whereas if we look at the proximal aspect, that might be the shoulder, which is nearer to the where the origin of the movement is taking place. So therefore we've got anterior, which is front, posterior, which is back, superior, which is above, inferior, which is below, medial towards the middle line, lateral away from the middle line, proximal, which is near to the origin, and distal, which is away from the origin. So let's try some questions and see if we can try and answer these uh, using maybe the knowledge that we've had. So one thing is that you might be asked to name five bones of the body. So you've got 205 that you could pick from, but realistically in uh, BTEC Sport, we're looking more at something around about 18 of these, these uh, bones. Second question, can you describe the difference between the axial and the apodeclis skeleton? So that's something that might be a three mark question. Third, what is meant by anterior? And the fourth question, name a medial bone. Answers come up very soon. So let's have a look at those answers then. So if we were to name any five uh, bones, essentially, any of the five that you've probably come up with from your revision guide would be acceptable. I'm not going to go through them all. It will take us a rather long time. So number two, describe the difference between axial and appendicular skeleton. So the axial skeleton is the main core of the body, whereas the appendicular is all the other bones that attach to the axial skeleton. So a nice easy way to remember those, just one's attached and one's in the middle. Um, what is meant by anterior? Well, anterior means the front of the body and name a medial bone, and we're looking here at any bone in the center of the body. So the easiest things to go for would be things like the sternum, or maybe even the vertebrae, which are dead, dead in the middle of your body. So there's four questions there. Hopefully you've been able to answer them before we even went through the answers. So thank you for listening to this podcast, and coming up next is the next one about the skeletal system.